Hello everybody. In this video, I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $99,088.58. In the past year, I am up $27,905.96. Year to date for the year 2024, I am currently up $8,000. $698.13 Today was a red day for me. I lost $808.03 and then after hours I lost another $183.10 So around $1,000 lost today Let's go over my positions For my options I am selling Amazon $190 covered calls These expired June 21st my total return, I am down $225. I am selling Disney $115 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return, $18. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return, $150. I'm selling Verizon $39 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return, I am down $62. I'm selling LUV $28 covered calls. These expire July 5th. My total return, I am down $330. I'm selling Google $180 covered calls. These expired July 19. My total return $224. I'm selling Robinhood $18 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, I am down $330. I'm selling Starbucks $80 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $108. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, I am down $54. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $184.20. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $25,578.84. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.97. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $8,080.80 I have 300 shares of Disney Disney is at $101.54 My average cost $60 My total return $12,462 I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood Robinhood is at $22.18. My average cost, $17.53. My total return, $4,654.90. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $27.75. My average cost, $28.03. My total return, I am down $140. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $174.45. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $3,197. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $67.12. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, 
$884. I have 200 shares of Verizon. Verizon is at $40.92. My average cost, $39.31. Total return, $322.10. I have 200 shares of Starbucks. Starbucks is at $81.05. My average cost, $78.15. Total return, $580.50. This is a margin account. My margin total is $114,007.96. My margin used is $111,000. $58.44, which leaves me with $2,949.52 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $46,262.41. This is how much more money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.25%. The daily interest that I am paying is $18.93 and I am borrowing $2,000 interest free. So it's been a couple of days since I made my last portfolio update and this is because I have not been feeling well. I've been having trouble just talking honestly. So I've been trying to save my voice, just rest and recover. So that's why you haven't seen me in a couple of days. But there have been a few changes. So I did speak about changing my SoFi covered calls, all of them to the $8 strike price, and I finally did it. So now I only have SoFi $8 covered calls, whereas before I had some SoFi $9 covered calls. So now all of my SoFi covered calls are the $8 strike price. Now, will that actually turn out to be a good idea? Will I actually end up losing money? We'll see. There could be a lot of things that happen from now until July 19th, so we'll see. In terms of total portfolio value, I have been able to get my portfolio value above 100k again since yesterday. As you can see, June 6th, yesterday, around 1pm, my portfolio value did go above $100,000 again. And even today, in the middle of the day, it was also above $100,000. However, it did not stay there for too long. As you can see, it went above $100,000 in the middle of the day around 9.30 a.m. However, after that, it went back down again, and now we're at $99,000. However, I'm not too worried. I think eventually it's going to stay above $100,000, and it's not going to dip below that right after. I want to get to the point where it's going to steadily stay above that amount. But we're not quite there yet but I think within the next month, we should be getting there. Speaking of which, a bunch of my positions do expire in about two weeks from now. So June 21st, that's the expiration date for about four different covered call positions in my portfolio. So that's what I'm waiting on right now. Now, as for my stocks, I really don't have much in buying power to really add a new position. Even if I do, it's only $3,000 of buying power, that's not really going to get me much. So for now, I don't think I'll be changing much in my portfolio until some of my covered calls expire in about two weeks from now, and then I'll figure out what to do. But for now, I'm just sitting back and not really doing much of anything. Alright, that's it for this portfolio update, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I will be making more videos like this in the future, so if you guys want to see more, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.